Attention on deck. Please stand for our invocation. Very good morning. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time to pause and celebrate these sailors as a recognition of their hard work, commitment, and perseverance to reach the end of another milestone in their early naval career. Please bless each of these sailors' souls with joy and gladness for their accomplishments. We're also thankful for the support of their instructors and leaders who poured their time and energy into these sailors, helping to prepare them for the next challenge ahead. We are especially grateful for their family and friends who have cheered them on and encouraging them and motivating them to push through all the stress and adversity they face. May they be a constant source of love and strength for these sailors. Lord, please us bless the ceremony, and may your presence be felt here today. In your holy name I pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Commander Pomeroy, Chaps, staff, Colonel Ham, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for Machinist Mate Class 2206 and Electronics Technician Class 2148. Today is a special day for these sailors as it marks the completion of long weeks of hard work. I am pleased we are here to recognize the efforts and achievements of these young men and women. Today's guest speaker is from Arvada, Colorado and joined the Navy in February of 2014. After, after completing recruit training in Great Lakes, Illinois, he attended Nuclear Field A School and Power School here in Charleston before being ordered to prototype in Boston Spa, New York. Upon completing his training, he was stationed aboard the USS Maryland, a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine stationed in Kings Bay, Georgia. During his time on board, he supported five strategic deterrent patrols, filling the keystone role of our nation's nuclear triad. After only two years on board, he was made the leading petty officer of electrical division, coordinating the maintenance and upkeep for electrical production and distribution systems while successful mission execution. In October 22, or 2020, he reported here at NPTC to teach digital electronics and microprocessors. Petty Officer Wagner taught five classes before being selected as a section leading petty officer, a duty reserved only for staff who exhibit enviable standards. During his service, he has set the example for the entire command and has been keeping with the Navy's core values. It is my pleasure to introduce Electrician's Mate Nuclear, first class submarines qualified, John Wagner. Chaplain, staff, Colonel Ham, family, and friends. Graduates, I'd like to start off by repeating some words that you, as participants in this program, hopefully already know. We, as the Naval Nuclear Power Propulsion Community, have an unmatched record of safety, reliability, and sustained operational readiness. We have achieved and we sustain this record by ensuring that our reactor plants and our engine rooms are staffed around the clock every day of every year, in port and at sea, with the most competent and the most trustworthy operators that we can hope to supply them. All of you, as graduates of your respective A schools, can take pride in having completed the first leg of your journey on your way to joining this elite crowd. If you find the journey difficult at times, know that it is intended to be. We do not strive to make this training simple, to make it easy, because we need people that are capable of overcoming extreme obstacles. People that are able to face trials head on. People like you. Know that by completing this school, you have begun to cement a reputation as someone that we can rely upon to get the job done. To keep the fleet moving. To the families of these graduates. Know that they have made it through arduous times, long days, difficult exams, and difficult instructors to make it to where they are today. Be proud of what they have, and know that they are well on their way to achieving more. Graduates, as you advance in your careers, as you move to positions of greater leadership and technical ability, remember finally that no matter the task, it is who you are and what you believe yourself capable of which marks the line between failure and success. 
I think that no words better encapsulate that message than those of Admiral Hyman G. Rickover. What it takes to do a job will not be learned from management courses. It is principally a matter of experience, the proper attitude, and common sense, none of which can be taught in the classroom. Human experience shows that people, not organizations or management systems, get things done. Military members, attention! Graduating students, I will now proc you to the rank of third class petty officer. <clears throat> to all who shall see these presents, greetings! Greetings! Know ye that by the authority vested in me, and reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy, as such from the 18th day of February, 2022. To the appointees, your appointment as a petty officer in the United States Navy makes you heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation, which may serve as an enviable example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity, attention to duty, and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, understanding and strength to your subordinates, you will contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. Please be seated. And families and friends, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officer. sailors has earned their new title. There are those, however, who stand out from the rest as evidenced by having the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for their achievements in the classroom, and we call these sailors our honor graduates. Today's honor graduates are machinist mate third class Jonathan Meyer and electronics technician third class Elizabeth Carter. The Honor Graduate Award will be presented by Commander Fulmoy and Senior Chief Fenton. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, to Machinist Mate, Third Class, Jonathan Meyer and Electronics Technician 3rd Class, Elizabeth Carter. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average among all the graduates from your class at Nuclear Field A School, Charleston. Your standing as number one reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Best wishes, signed, S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy. Military personnel, please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for class 2206, Chief Machinist Mate Nuclear, Submarines Qualified, Jason Hurls. Thank you. Good morning, Commander Pomeroy, Chaplain, staff, Colonel Ham, family and friends, and of course, the graduates. First off, congratulations to all of you. I'm immensely proud of each and every one of you sitting here today. From day one, I set the high standards for your class, and even though we had eh, a lot of ups and only a little bit of downs, okay, you all strive to live up to those standards every single day, and I appreciate that. Nuclear Field A School may now be over. However, the work does not stop. I challenge all of you to continue to strive for excellence in everything you do, Strive to excel in power school and then on to prototype. 
and never lose focus of the end goal, which is to join an elite community of nuclear operators in the United States Navy. I will leave you with the same words I told you on day one. Show up on time, in the correct uniform, with a sack haircut, everything else will fall into place. Also, I grew this mustache for you, not for my, not for my ski trip, it was just a ploy. Now, presenting class 2206. Wow. Grace. Machinist made third class, Carson Arthrell. <laughs> Machinist made third class, Caleb Sharkarian. <laughs> Machinist made third class, Carson Keller. <laughs> Machinist made third class, Jacob Kowach. Machinist made third class, Christopher McBrew. Machinist made third class, Devin McLeitis. Machinist made third class, John Meglio. Machinist made third class, Ian Najelski. Machinist made third class, William Proxima. Machinist made third class, Mario Rosario Angelo. Machinist made fireman apprentice, Tyler Schoenwald. Machinist made third class, Lance Smith. Machinist made third class, Nathaniel Bellow. Machinist made third class, Logan Wilkinson. <laughs> Graduating with distinction, Machinist made third class, Adam Dreyer. <laughs> Machinist made third class, Christopher Eichmann. <laughs> Machinist made third class, Caden Goodman. Machinist made third class, Christopher O'Nate. Machinist made third class, Jacob Reitenberg. Machinist made third class, Stephen Ringel. Machinist made third class, Benjamin Shutt. Machinist made third class, Carson Shostak. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Machinist made third class, Porter Duran. <laughs> Machinist made third class, Holden Ham. <laughs> Machinist made third class, John Meyer. pleasure to introduce the section leading Petty Officer for class 2148. Petty Officer first class, nuclear, submarines qualified, Eric James. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't grow a sweet mustache. <laughs> All right, uh, good morning everybody. Uh, good morning Doss, good morning Chaplain, um, good morning fellow staff, Colonel Ham. Uh, family and friends who made it here today and those who are watching across the country and most importantly, uh, welcome graduates. Uh, so, graduation, it's finally that day. Specifically, the day where you look back at the last six months and you take stock of everything that you've been through here at Nuclear Field Day School. I want each and every one of you to look at yourselves now and then look at who you were when you moved on from INDOC six months ago. The experience of A School is one that I guarantee has shaped you into a harder worker, a better sailor, and a more mature adult, even if you don't necessarily feel that way right now. 
I promise that the fleet actually does exist and that you've just completed the first step in getting there. For the past few months, you've been asked to perform at a higher level than you've ever previously been challenged to in your lives. Every single thing that you have done here does indeed have a purpose to prepare you for that mystical faraway fleet. All the blood, sweat, and many tears that you spent studying inside of this building, this preparation specifically for my ET graduates, for the rigorous pro process of qualifying reactor operator. All of the labs that you did and all of the troubleshooting that you had to learn is preparation for one day being part of a division which owns the equipment that keeps our reactor safe and monitored accurately. What I really want all of you guys to do now is to look at yourselves from my perspective and the perspective of my fellow staff members. My job, which is something I great, take great pride in doing, is guiding you through your initial experience in naval nuclear power. There is an end goal for each and every one of you, becoming a reactor operator or a mechanical operator in the fleet. What I ask myself, or when I ask myself rather, if I've done my job which eat with each and every single student sitting here in front of me on graduation day, I ask if you will be good nukes, good operators and good technicians in the fleet. And I believe emphatically that with every single one of you, that answer is yes. In front of me, I truly believe that there are future engineering watch supervisors, leading petty officers, leading chief petty officers, and engineering department master chiefs. And that all of you are going to be awesome at what you do. Take your time off, enjoy it, but when you get to power school, hit the ground running. Use what you learn on this side of the rig over and build on it over there. And if you remember nothing else, my words of wisdom are oddly not that different from Chief Curls's. Three things, show up to work on time, do your job, and look at doing it. You do those three things, you will never have any issues. With that, I proudly present class 2148 Tango. Left base. Electronics Technician, third class, Rodolfo Aguilar. <laughs> Electronics Technician, Seaman Apprentice, Kevin Dadgley. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Nathaniel Carroll. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Darian Conway. Technician third class, Miguel Coronado. Electronics Technician third class, Sean Donahue. Electronics Technician third class, Wyatt Eaton. Electronics Technician third class, Devin Espy. Electronics Technician third class, Charles Finch. Electronics Technician Third Class Samuel Catcher. Electronics Technician Third Class Brock Kelly. Electronics Technician Third Class Tyler Martin. Electronics Technician Third Class Charlie Nettle Salazar. Electronics Technician Third Class Andrew Shaver. Electronics Technician Third Class, Russell Thomas. <laughs> Electronics Technician Third Class, Connor Thompson. <laughs> now graduating with distinction, Electronics Technician Third Class, Carter Bumgarner. <laughs> Electronics Technician Third Class, Nolan Bloom. Third class, Carl Canada. <laughs> Electronics technician, third class, James Davis. My <laughs> master at arms, Electronics technician, third class, Donovan Dempsey. <laughs> My class leader, Electronics technician, third class, Katie Gutierrez. <laughs> Electronics technician, third class, Carl Connect. Electronics Technician right. Third Class, Jacob Lopez. <laughs> Electronics Technician Third Class, Matthew Pace. 
Electronics Technician, third class, Keegan Stinson. Electronics Technician, third class, Tu Tran. Now graduating with honors, Electronics Technician, third class, Kyle Boucher. My assistant class leader, Electronics Technician, third class, Elizabeth Carter. Electronics Technician, third class, Samuel Cullum. And Electronics Technician, third class, Nicholas Monks. Each of these sailors has exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to be, to be here. Still, there are those that, by the manner in which they have completed their training, have inspired others. What sets these sailors aside from their peers are the consistencies of their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the example they set. They demonstrated the qualities most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. These sailors are the recipients of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Today's recipients are, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing, Machinist Mate Third Class, Logan Wilkinson, <laughs> and Electronics Technician Third Class, Caden Gutierrez. The Personal Excellence Award will right. be presented Thanks. by Commander Pomeroy and Master Chief Zimmerman. Military personnel, attention! From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command to Machinist Mate Third Class, Logan Wilkinson, and Electronics Technician Third Class, Caden Gutierrez. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student in each class who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This student stands apart from peers by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your impressive dedications to duty, exceptional academic efforts, and perseverance in the face of adversity have made you an outstanding example for your classmates to emulate. The professionalism exhibited while performing your duties is in keeping with the Navy Corps values and warrants your selection and recognition today as a recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. My staff and I are proud of your demonstrated effort, leadership, and outstanding results. The character and professionalism that have earned you this recognition will serve you well in your follow-on training. Signed, S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Director of Nuclear Field A School, Commander Fulmerine. I love when I can take this mask off, so, and, uh, so I get to talk now. Uh, and brief. So anyway, so uh, Fridays are my favorite day of the week uh, at A School, because we do a graduation every Friday. Uh, in about six or seven months, these sailors will be graduating from power school, and I'm confident they will. So for the family and friends that are, uh, are here, please come back to that graduation ceremony. It's a, uh, it's a phenomenal, uh, it's a large event, and it's out in the, uh, in the spine, back behind the, uh, the uh, Rickover Center. So, uh, First thing, I'm going to reiterate, reiterate a few points that the uh, guest speaker and SLPO has talked about. But uh, first thing, for the family and friends, thanks for, thanks for being here today. I know it, it's hard to travel, uh, especially right now with uh, everything going on in the, uh, with the pandemic. Uh, your support for these sailors throughout their career is going to be paramount to their success. I still talk to my parents several times a week. And it's, a, uh, it's a great support system that I have, and uh, they'll need that as well. One of the things that the guest speaker talked about was operate and maintain nuclear reactors. And like a conventional ship, we could turn off the, uh, the power at night, and pretty much the whole crew can go home, right, with the exception of some of the watchstanders. Um, 
for a nuclear reactor, we have to maintain it and operate it 24-7, 365. So it is a, uh, it's a huge deal. So thanks for that support, or they'll need that support going forward. To the staff here, uh, thanks for everything you do, your mentorship, getting these sailors here. Uh, for the families and for the, what I told the students yesterday, was I would keep my comments short, but one of the things that uh, these two classes did is their overall GPA's classes was greater than 3.27, which is well above average. They also had no class issues along the way, so they were great teams, and they'll con be continue to be great teams going forward. And to the graduates, uh, I know I told you I'd keep it short, and I will, but everything we talked about yesterday, leadership, responsibility, uh, those character development traits, those Washington principles, always have them in the back of your, uh, back of your mind when you're out in town, back home, whatever it is. Use those. I'm super proud of you. I look forward to your success at Power School. Congratulations, job well done, and uh, we'll get you out of here. Thanks. Please stand for our benediction. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for today's ceremony and for those who made this graduation possible. Thank you for the wisdom shared with our graduates and our newest third class petty officers. Lord, bless these sailors who made this time. Remind them of their hard work and determination to perform under pressure and to finish this leg of their journey. Give them rest between the now and the start of power school. Watch over them. Guide and protect them. Let them know that they are not alone. Let them not become weary or lose heart and help them to stand firm and stay committed to those values that we hold dear. As we close here today, let us be reminded of all those who have gone before us to help pave the way. Lord, bless our sailors who are around the world and protect those who are in harm's way. Please continue to bless this command, our Navy, and this great nation. We lift these prayers to you. Amen. This concludes today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations and well done. Military personnel, carry on.